F Hurt? A V H R I T A H 650 Cordless Impact Wrench. I'm looking forward to using this. Yeah, baby. What has come in the mail from Amazon? Oh my goodness, I think I know what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what it is. Woo, baby. Oh yeah. My socket wrench impact gun. Come to daddy. Come to mommy. Woo. All right, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two battery chargers, it looks like. Ooh, what is that that fell out? Hmm, we'll have to look at that. Another battery charger. Nothing. Oh, another one fell out. I wonder what that is. Oh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Get that charging so we can do a test review on this. <gasps> Ooh, she's so beautiful. Ooh, socket wrenches. Nice. 14, 17, 19, and 21 millimeter sockets. Nice. Plug. Oops. This is actually the battery charger. Oh, how weird. I just took the sockets out of the bag. And there's these rubber O-rings. But these two things also came out of the bag. What in the world are those for? What in the world is that for? Comes it's coming out of every bag. And there's some O-rings here. Not sure why I need those. These O-rings came out of the bag with the sockets, as well as these two metal pin pieces. So, I don't know, maybe they're extra pieces? I will read the manual and find out. Model number AH650, impact wrench. Woohoo! The big boy. Nice. Let's get to charging. Okay, this now appears to be done so that's done we will plug the other one in so while that other one is charging and you can see i removed it out of the case and it is charging i just want to say after feeling holding this and feeling this plastic release button oh it feels pretty sturdy there it feels pretty hardy there but it really does but when you actually put it in there and this is how it goes on of course I'm doing it one-handed and oh I got it on all right anyways I just wanted to show you and you're trying to get that off of there it kind of feels like a little bit of a feeble plastic I, I'm a, I'd be a little concerned with that plastic breaking and I'll just show you a few more details there's the screws on it you can see how it's made brushless motor that's cool all right, you can see the electrical in there. Okay. Now that she's all charged up, let's see the power. And let's take her to the mechanics. Three quarter. Three quarter? Yeah. So it's 19. Well, no, nope, I got These it. These are metric. I don't See, know. these are all metric. Okay, hold on. Really? is just too tight. So what are the metrics for then? Well, when lug nuts get old, they sometimes expand and stuff. Oh. But, uh, right. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. It'll probably work great on a brand new car. Yeah. But, uh, hold on. 21 is too big. Let me see if I get this to fit on any one of the lug nuts. All right. Oh. Almost that one. See, they swell up when they get old. Maybe that one. Interesting. Let's see what takes it off. Yep, it works. All right. So the only hard part is going to be getting it back off of there. Yeah. Interesting. Because the lug nuts are swollen up. Got it. So, yeah, it works. All right. There you go. Good. Well, I'll leave these rubber rings on there so they don't fall out. All right. Sounds good. He's wanted it up on the floor there. He will now assemble the tiny parts that we see here. I thought they were saying to fix it, so it fixed it. No. Regarding these pins and O-rings, let's go find out what they have to say. 
install the impact socket. Two and a half inch square drive. The first sentence makes a lot of sense to me. Align the square of the impact socket with the square drive and push the impact socket onto the square drive until it locks in place. Yeah, that's pretty common standard practice. To remove the impact socket, simply pull off. That's exactly what I would do with an impact gun. Makes sense to me. Now, number two, this is what doesn't make sense. Please insert the nails and rubber rings right there to fix the socket. To fix the socket, then when it works, it won't be fall off. <laughs> it won't be fall off. What in the what? Big little girl, though. What's this? Oops, oops, I dropped. Yeah, that's the problem with these little things. The little pin, right? Yep. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, that is the problem with them being that small like that. Okay, so because my mechanic had so many problems with these little pins, as you've seen, bouncing all over the place, and we lost them on the garage floor, I have decided I'm just going to put them in this little baggie so they don't get lost. Just to keep the socket on there, you push the pin in and roll that on there so it doesn't get lost. You, you line this up. Okay. You're holding this with that. Right there, everything's new, so it's tight. Yeah. You slide it in. All right. And then roll that over, and it keeps the pin from oh, falling. Oh, no kidding. So, you know what? Most of the impacts that I've ever used, where did that one go here? Most of the impacts I ever use have a, this thing holds it on. This, see this spring loaded thing? At least it works. You found it! Oh, you're the there best. You go. You're the best, Chris. Okay. There you go. That little pin. Yep. Yeah, that's what they do, lock it on there. Now, most impacts, yeah. this spring here is what locks the socket on. I don't get it. Um, really? Yeah. They usually have, like, something to retain. That see, little like, right there. Yeah, see, like, on this? Yeah. See that ring? That holds the sockets on when you put them on there. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, notice there's no hole in this one? Oh, there is no hole so that, that ring, I don't get why they did the ring and the pins. <laughs> Very good professional opinion. Yeah, I know a little bit about tools. All right, that concludes the matter. Oh, I think we just did our video. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to head in to go see Larry at Buffalo Wholesale Tire. And he's going to give us his honest opinion of our little impact socket wrench. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is a socket impact wrench. Well, it's tiny. Is it tiny? That's small. Okay, what's small about it? <laughs> well, this is... Oh, wow. This is a high end. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Let's put it up against there. Let's see the difference. Oh, wow. That is really small. Oh, okay. Good to know. I did not know that. All right, thanks. See, that's... All right. Better than see if it works. Are they charged? Yes, fully charged. You might want to jack that. I'm just going to do a couple. Very weak. Very weak? Okay. And that is fully charged. If you press the button on the charger, you can see how it's fully charged. I was going to ask you, do you know about those buttons right there? Yes, I'm trying to figure out right now. Those buttons are to adjust the power. Yeah, one's low, one's high. Yep. How do you change it? It's on auto. It is on auto? Oh, that means, okay, so you got to change the reverse. Yeah, right there. That button. It only works on reverse. The That power. The, uh, that's an auto stop. It works in counterclockwise only. I was hoping you knew about that. Because oh. I was confused about it, to be honest with you.
All right, so let's check the directions. For reverse counterclockwise, notice they're calling reverse counterclockwise rotation, push the control switch in the direction shown. Check the direction of rotation before use. Reverse counterclockwise, again they're saying that. Rotation mode applied to remove screws. Notice they're calling them screws. Auto stop mode and continuous mode can be set under counterclockwise mode by pressing the switch to change. Auto stop indicator lights up automatically in counterclockwise mode. Does it? And do you know what like, the purpose of that would be? No. Because they know there's a slow mode and a fast mode, and I thought, why would you need a slow mode? Would you ever use why wouldn't, why wouldn't it? Be on, why wouldn't you be able to use that on high power on both sides, too? I don't know. You see that? Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. this one. Yeah, it's an um, auto stop on it. The battery's fully charged. Yep. Not horrible. Did you notice the size of the socket wrenches? Yeah, yeah, you got 21s, 19, 17, and 18. Okay, cool. Yeah, come with a, uh, oh no, this is a 14 millimeter. Is that something you'd normally use? So I use my main tools are, well, my main socket sizes would be a 19 and a 21. Oh, okay, so there's 19 and 21 in there. Yeah, so. Okay. It's useful, you know, for at home. Would, for at home. Yeah. I all would, right. I would, it's a nice little part. Yeah. All right. Something to keep around the house. What do you think about that uh, auto stop thing on there? Don't like it. You don't like it. I didn't Absolutely like it either, not. but I was wanted a professional opinion about it, like what the purpose would be for it. Woo! Oh my gosh! I like it when it just automatically spins, and I'm able to adjust how high the settings go just by clicking a button too. So. Okay. If I can adjust the settings just by clicking a button. It's which brings me to the next question check this out did you happen to notice that there are on these sockets this came with a bag of pins and these rubber o-rings and in the directions I actually had to read their directions because I thought it was so baffling um, you actually put them oh see I'm not the only one who needs to read directions on this thing Yeah? Yeah. It's definitely good for your for household, you know, like if you have things you need to work on around the house. Or yeah. If you, you know, side of the road, you know, if you don't have, you know, something like this. Right. You know, I'm, I'm sure this is cost effective. Do you know how much it costs? Yep, 134 bucks. That's not bad. Okay. You spend about $200 more than something like this. Okay. You know, but so those pins are supposed to go. Yeah, they go right, right through here. Okay. And then the O-ring goes over top of it. Yep. Which, do you know the reason for that is? Or I do not. I have not. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know something this tiny existed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. And I didn't know that it was tiny. I just thought that it was kind of normal size or something. We'll say it's normal. All right, we'll say it's normal. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, thank you so much for your time here today. Not a problem. All right, let's uh, see what these buttons do here. Okay, so what is this? Okay, that could change it. All right, all right. So that's a low speed. That's high speed. Well, I can't imagine why you'd ever want low speed. I don't think I ever would. And then here's automatic. Oh, maybe not. There's an automatic button there. Auto stop. Hold it in, maybe. I don't see anything. I don't know how to get that auto stop on. Again, time to read the manual of AH650 cordless impact wrench. Okay, so after carefully reviewing this manual regarding the auto stop indicator lights, apparently there are twofold reason of why you would use the auto stop. So we're gonna go check out the indica indicator light and show you how and why the auto stop works. But first, in order to get that to work, you actually have to turn it on because otherwise you won't be able to push the buttons. So here we go. 
We are in which mode right now? Counterclockwise. So it is working in counterclockwise mode. And it's the only time it will work. The indicator will come on. Oh, and again, you got to turn it on in order for it to work. So here we go. It is now on. There. On and off only. And again, it shuts off. So you got to turn it back on in order to view it and use it. So it's currently again in the counterclockwise mode. This button sticking out here. That way that's counterclockwise. And again, it shut off. So I got to turn it back on again to make it work. See now the button's on, the red light's on, red light's off, red light's on, red light's off, red light's on, off. off. And now it turned off again. So here's where you cannot use the auto stop. You cannot use it in the fast forward mode. Fast forward's here. You could use higher low speed. Oh, you got to turn it on again. So there's their low speed. I might as well show you that while I'm here. And then here's high speed. And again, that's in the fast forward position. And if you press it again, you cannot use the auto stop in the fast forward position. Now, this is the lock position, center. Going, you can see the on both sides, so that's the center position. That is the lock position. So, can't turn it on, and therefore you cannot use the auto stop or any of the other buttons. Okay, so now again we go to counterclockwise, switch that over. And again, you can't use the buttons or anything unless it is on. So we turn it on, and here we go. Now the indicator auto stop lights on, and the other buttons do not work. But let me show you how the auto stop does work. So we press this, and you can see I'm holding it in. It stops it. So you only get one rotation. And that is what the auto stop is for. Okay, this now appears to be done. No more lights are showing. I'll take it out. Plug it back in just to be sure. No lights are showing whatsoever. So that's done. We will plug the other one in. Okay, so in addition to all my other gadgets around here, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this charger into my nice dusty <laughs> electronics <clears throat> base here. Yeah, lots of dust. Okay, that's weird. It doesn't feel like it's sinking in all the way. Why is that? Let's see. Look at it. It's, I don't know. So we're going to wait till that charges up. And here's, you can see the green. It's on. Looks like it's on the middle one there. That's weird. It's not flat. Okay, that's weird. There's a weird hump there, which not, does not allow that to sit flat. So that's one thing. So lithium battery charger, model HC12200. So this little lip here is a little bit of a problem because it rocks on the thing and you think it's not plugged in all the way. Don't mind the dust, please. I got lots of other tools and stuff over here because I'm a tool girl. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. You can see that's green now. And let's see what happens when we plug her in. Here's the little thing here. And this is the charger for the impact wrench, the cord cordless impact wrench. And now it turned red. Okay, one thing I do not like, though, that I just noticed, it's late at night. My internet went out, so I was just checking my TV. And I thought I would check over here to see if something was unplugged. And... I put my hand on the charger, and it's super hot. I do not like that. So I'm unplugging that. That is scary. Um, that is scary hot. And it looks like this is fully charged. It's just showing a red light. Although, shouldn't it be showing a green light? I'm confused. So I've read the instructions and nothing in here whatsoever about 
the battery charger turning red or green. I read all these instructions, they're pretty typical. Nothing about the indicator lights. Also nothing showing the indicator lights. There's lots of other directions in here, some of which do not make sense, of which I will show you in a minute. But nothing regarding the battery lights being red or green, which they've turned both. <laughs> so, hence the further confusion. But either way, this is super hot. Not good. Whoa! Did you see that spark? Holy shit! Alright, that's showing red now. And now it's showing green. Ow, that is actually hot to touch. That is hot to touch. Not cool. When your battery's fully charged, it'll look like this. So there you go. Press the button, and she's fully charged. So it's kind of cool. Model number AH650, impact wrench, AVHRIT.